DCA is a novel type of uh, cancer treatment in that it doesn't act uh, as a direct cancer killing agent. What it does is it behaves as a metabolic therapy. So cancer cells have this unique way of using energy and they use energy or glucose in a very uh, inefficient way. And the reason they do that is because their mitochondria, which are these powerhouses of the cells that are all our healthy cells use to produce energy, the cancer cells, on the other hand, don't use the mitochondria. So they use a completely other uh, method, uh, pathway of producing that energy. And although it's very inefficient, it works for them. It allows them to turn off that switch that automatically would ca cause a cancer cell, automatically would cause a healthy cell to, to die. So they've somehow figured out, these very intelligent cancer cells, how to turn off that death switch. What DCA does is it gets into the cell and forces these cancer cells to use their mitochondria to produce energy. And when you do that, that cancer cell has to turn on its, its kill switch again. So you can imagine when you've got a large tumor and you administer DCA and these tumor cells are growing and proliferating as we call it, the DCA is what we call an anti-proliferative agent, so it actually slows down the cancer cell's ability to, um, to divide continuously. And when you have death of these cancer cells, then other treatments also can work more effectively, whether that's high-dose IV vitamin C therapy, which works from a very different um, standpoint, or chemotherapy or radiation. Um, so DCA is a really, uh, really useful treatment um, for a number of reasons in cancer care. It, um, I typically use DCA in more advanced uh, malignancies, more advanced cancer cases, um, and use it not as on its own, but rather in conjunction with IV vitamin C therapy, um, often in conjunction with oncotherm treatments. And it can be administered orally or intravenously, but the preferred method is the intravenous route because it's more powerful and also there are less side effects to the IV administration of DCA as opposed to the oral.